the state, the Union territory of Jammu and Kashmir will see polling once again. It was a state, then the statehood was taken away. Now, uh, Jammu and Kashmir goes to polls again in phase one. It's in Udhampur uh, where elections will happen. And I want to show you what happened there last time because remember, Jammu and Kashmir is where the minister in the prime minister's office, Dr. Jitendra Singh, contests from. Uh, so in Jammu and Kashmir, uh, a total of uh, five seats. I look at the first phase, uh, which is where Udhampur uh, goes to polls. And in Udhampur, Dr. Jitendra Singh had about a 60% uh, vote share in the first phase of polling uh, in the 2019 election. So if I were to take you to the seat of Udhampur, uh, in Udhampur, Jitinder Singh with 61% of the vote share, Vikram Aditya Singh, the local sign at 31%, uh, and that's again the gap. Remember, uh, polling in Kashmir as it is in Maharashtra, Bihar, and Bengal also very staggered, but at least the good thing notionally is that uh, polling is returning to Jammu and Kashmir. You've got the Prime Minister and the Home Minister having confirmed that assembly elections will be held soon after and uh, that before September, in any case, the courts have said that there has to be an assembly election. What do you make, Yashwant, of the strategy of the BJP to do assembly elections separately and Lok Sabha elections separately? Uh, could they have hoped that if assembly and Lok Sabha were held together, they may have done better because the assembly election will then get very, very localized on local regional issues? Well, on the contrary, the tracker numbers actually were showing that assembly elections uh, might not have been very favorable in that way, you know, uh, for the BJP. So they didn't want probably to confuse on that and uh, uh, they wanted to keep the Lok Sabha clear in that way and then build up upon that because a lot of local uh, delimitation has happened, Rahul. It's not an easy thing to uh, extrapolate the thing. So probably under the new delimitation, they would be in a better position to understand what the Lok Sabha numbers throw and they can make a plan and that might be the reason. Another thing to give due credit where due in that way, Jammu and Kashmir elections are going to be under the shadow of really, really, uh, uh, you know, tight security system. I think as and when they will decide to have the Jammu Kashmir elections, uh, it is very critical, very important, and security plays an important role in that. So I think uh, they would like to keep it separate. So we've spoken of the Hindi heartland. Uh, we've spoken of Tamil Nadu. I want to spend a moment on the Northeast as well. Because in the Northeast, on the 19th, large parts are going to polls. In the upper Assam region, in Arunachal Pradesh, uh, I want to go to Yashwan Deshmukh. Uh, it's in upper Assam uh, uh, and in the Northeast. Uh, that a very exciting contest is underway. Because this is where the Prime Minister thinks that the work that he's done over the past five years will find validation. Because a lot of development effort being made in the Northeast and the BJP will hope that what used to earlier be an area of weakness will get cemented as an area of strength, Yashwan. Absolutely. And Northeast uh, is a very, uh, it's talked in a cohesion as a one unit, but uh, they, uh, each and every state's politics is very different. BJP right now, right now has a very clear individual independent politics in Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, Tripura and Manipur. And Manipur's uh, uh, problem has been made making international and national headlines and there is a crisis i understand that but that has nothing to do what is happening in uh, in uh, in arunachal pradesh right now i think uh, they are ruling in the assembly over there the chief minister ratings are good and uh, and uh, for the first time we are looking at uh, up, up, up after mr sangma uh, kiran rijiju actually playing a very very important and decent role in central politics so I guess that uh, between uh, Himanta Biswa Sarma and, uh, uh, and Arunachal Pradesh BJP and the Kiran Rijiju, they have got it sorted out. One more interesting thing is, uh, uh, Rahul, it's not just about BJP playing important role. I am also observing in our tracker the kind of role that Congress is diminishing with every cycle in the Northeast. This could be one of those elections where Congress might like to register uh, uh, a comeback of sort because uh, uh, Rahul Gandhi started his uh, yatra over there, gave enough importance to uh, Northeast in his uh, uh, Bharat Jodo yatra. But at the same time, we are also witnessing a structural decline of Congress rank and file in the Northeastern states. You put that question and then to Charan Singh Sapra because you make an important point. 
if I call up uh, Assam, for example, in Upper Assam, five seats, uh, polling will be held on the seats of Dibrugar, Jorhat, Khaziranga, Lakimpur, and Nagao. Uh, Assam used to be, during the time of Tarun Gogai, uh, a strength area for the Congress. This is where now his son Gaurav is contesting, for example, on the seat of Jorhat. But what used to be an area of strength is increasingly becoming an area of weakness. In Jorhat, for example, last time around, Tapun Kumar Gogoi at 51% of the vote share, Sushanta Borgahin at 44 So BJP is making an audacious dash for Tamil Nadu where they had no hope in past elections. And the Congress is receding so much that in states which were areas of strength are now increasingly becoming areas of weakness, Charan Sapra. No, that, that may be your imagination, Rahul, but... No, this is what the uh, data is saying. It's not my imagination, sir. I'm only quoting the data. It's okay, it's okay. But but the recent uh, Yatra of Sri Rahul Gandhi, the Bharat Jodo Nyaya Yatra, that has definitely made a big impact in the entire Northeast, whether that is Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, Manipur, and even what happened in Manipur, it, it cannot be discarded by any of the Northeastern states. People have seen and that how the state government as well as the central government has failed in Manipur. Uh, such a long riots and how, how the uh, females were, you know, paraded over there. I need not repeat everything today. But people of Northeast are not going to forget this, that the double engine Sarkar has terribly failed in Manipur. And they can mention Manipur. So let me call that up on the screen. On the 19th, elections will be held in inner Manipur as well. Uh, where Rajkumar Ranjan Singh of the BJP had won with 35% of the vote. Onan uh, Nabakishore of the Congress came in second. And this is the question, uh, Tohin Sinha, that the opposition asks, that the Prime Minister is travelling, the Home Minister is travelling, they don't now go to Manipur. It's almost as if you are pretending that Manipur never happened. That's the question the opposition is seeking to draw the attention of the Indian voter to. Well, Rahul, the Home Minister, Honorable Home Minister, was in Manipur two days ago, where he very emphatically said that the division of the state will not be allowed, which is what the Congress secretly wants. You know, you need to realize that the period between March 2017 and April 2023 was also the longest phase of peace and prosperity for the state. But yes, there were certain ghosts which we felt had been done away with, which we felt had been ex exorcised, but we, which we, which sprang back to haunt us. And that is precisely where the Congress legacy still continues to haunt the region. When Rahul Gandhi takes out this Nyaya Yatra, people realize that the biggest Nyaya to the region has been done by the Congress governments, whether it was uh, Nehru's very callous remarks when Bondela was taken over in 1962 or the Nelle massacre of 1983, where 1700 people in Assam were killed overnight. So, you know, that this region will never forgive the Congress party. In, in the last 10 years, they have seen how we have brought seamless connectivity across the region with a spend of 4 lakh crores of capital expenditure. The airports have gone up from 8 to 17. There is complete cultural integration. You know, uh, something like the Hornville Festival today draws people from across the country, which was okay. never... There 10 years ago. So these things are visible on the ground and which is why the Congress neglect of that region is still fresh in the okay. minds of people.